Hello, hello, Pisces. Grand rising. Thank God that we have woke up this morning to see this lovely morning. Yes, yes, amen to that. Pisces, um, I was telling you about my friend's mom that's in the hospital. She's a Pisces. And um, I told you to pray for her voice. They put a tray in her. Now they... I guess they, they did not yet take the feeding tube out of her nose, but today is the surgery to remove the feeding tube out of her nose and put the bag so that she can eat on the side. Please, um, when all this happened, um, she lost oxygen to the brain, and her son is very well, very rare, and her daughter also. They all in Dr. Phil's um, in their family. So they're not, don't, then this is not new to them. This, they know what is going on with their mother. So please send our prayers and send emoji with praying hands in a brain so that she can be very aware of what's going around to her. Please send me emoji hands and brain to her. I made her some oils for him to put on her. And um, he did that yesterday. Pisces, you know I am very connected to God. Um, I don't worry about things that I once did. I, some people grow up and some people never grow up. Um, but I'm one of those people that growing. I don't need to be around people that are not growing, okay? And don't know where they stand. And want to keep playing with grown, grown, I mean, little games, but in a grown person's mind. A grown person's body playing little games. I don't know. I thank God I'm in the place that I am today. I'm not no better than you, but God knows I have no time for that. People, you know, it's it's annoying when you have people, grown people, still very immature. And you think these people change. They don't. Very immature. All right. Today is the 13th, so there is a part where yesterday you probably felt like um, you have done a lot of sacrifice, right? A lot of sacrifice, and I don't know where you're at in your life. I don't know what you're going through, but I know you may feel like you've done a lot. Today is the number 13. In the number 13, there's major transformation. There's a cycle that has to be a rebirth. And death means beautiful things. If you accept things. Uh, I had a Pisces that says, why did I talk about death? Well, some people are scared, some people are not. All right. That's where we all going. Enjoy your life. Right here in hell. I guess they leave the best for last, right? Heaven. Ain't no person in the face of this earth can tell me what heaven looks like. No one. If you could tell me what heaven looks like, you would not be here. Okay? Pisces, I want to say thank you for all the prayers and thank you for loving me, staying with me to the end. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for just being here. Um, for those who get private readings from me, 
you get up today or the next day. For those who go to my webpage and purchase any one of my products, and what I'll talk to you about is what I have here in front of my altar. I have a lot more. Um, we'll get it in two days if you order candles, okay? For those who already order, your order's been out. I'll send you a tracking number, so most of y'all already got your order, or y'all get them today. If you live in a building, an apartment, make sure you track your package, okay? Some people live in buildings where people take their stuff. Make sure you track your package, because once it leaves me, it leaves me, all right? I don't have no control over it. The Black Magic Spellbreaker Candle is for anything that you feel that is against you or doing wrong to you, all right? Those people that be getting their hair done and all of that stuff, people playing with your roots, you know, you be careful. It's a lot of things that go on um, these days. Um, I do lashes. You know, you look in people's eyes. You, you be careful. You don't know what kind of energy people carry. All right? So be careful. The Abundant Prosperity Healing Growth Fertility and Nurture is this candle. And this is what they call the Empress Emperor, the one that does it all. Right? That's the candle of everything, everything you want. Thank God, light it up because of your healing and your health and your growth, if anything, you know, for you to be strong mentally, physically, and emotionally. To self-love, can't nobody save you and can't nobody love you like you. This is my favorite candle. And I always like to adjust this candle, always. Because justice will reveal itself and the truth will come out. Balance will be set. Justice candle is for anyone that's going to court, have a court matter, court issues. Okay? It don't matter what court issues you have. All right? Palo Santo and Sage. These are the Palo Santos and this is the Sage. And this Sage been here because this is the sage I burnt the day of the eclipse, and it means the world to me. All right? So, um, that sage there, I treasure it. The red brick dust and the black magic. The red brick dust and the black salt. I swear by it. And the red brick dust is what I use. In front of my doorways and around my house. If you don't have a house, put it in front of your doorways, even inside your doorways. Like I said, you don't know what you're attracting or what you're bringing in or who comes in. All right? Uh, oils come in oil form and in dry form. The walnut bath is to work with your shadow work. And people think, oh, well, I don't know. Honey, you need to like take a, a shadow, a bath as much as you can at least once a month because we all need to do shadow work and people backslide every day with God, with the universe. Honey, do you understand the universe is bigger than anything and anyone here and you do a lot of backsliding because you feel like someone is better than you or you have to give someone your all when they ain't thinking about your ass and these people that play games with you. These people that manipulate you, that lie to you, all right? You know, do your, do your work. Think, put yourself where you need to be in your own life. And if you put yourself where you need to be in your own life, you won't have the crisis you have in your life because you do too much for everyone and can't even do for your damn self, all right? When you know you're leaving this world alone. If you wind up in a hospital right now, right this minute, the same damn man you sitting there worrying about who he's doing and what he's doing and why he ain't call you, it's the same damn man that you're going to be doing the same thing. This time, they ain't even going to come and see your ass because you're going to be in the hospital and they don't give a fuck about you. And when you get that shit through your head, then you're going to be fine. When you get your things through your head of how life really is, then nobody gives a damn about you. And at the end, you wind up alone 
Okay, and if you wind up in any situation, nobody come see your ass. You become a nothing and a no one. All right, you sit there, you treasure everything that ain't even right for you. And you think that that is your whole world. You know, you give your body, your mind and your soul to people that don't even earn it and don't, don't want it. But you give it to them because they don't want you. They don't want it. You can't force it. And then they come in and out of your life. Like you're a revolving door. Do the research on yourself. You know, do, do the self-healing and love yourself. All right? Because that's what your life is consumed. It's consumed about someone else. Consume it about yourself. The spirit detox salt bath. This is the salt. It is a cave saw. It works good if you have asthma, if you have bronchitis, if you have lung problems. You know, you can't breathe um, for your skin. This is the salt to take, the bath to take, all right? It's cave saw. It's not Epsom salt. And I use the best of the best oils. Also sell herbs in the bag. But if you go in there, you'll see a lot more than just what I just said. If you need a reading, like I said, you get it today or the next day. I don't hate on nobody. I don't give a damn who you pick, who you don't pick. It don't make me or break me. God always takes care of me. Always. All right? So, Pisces, let's get down with the get down. Now, I went to bed with these cards, right? When they knew I put them out, then I bring them in. So, I, for some reason, I ordered the same deck twice. So let's get down with this. Archangel Jonah. Oh, ooh, we. Let me see what I need to see. They fly now. The Emperor. Dependable. Okay. Dependable. And with authority. Very structured. Now, let me tell you something about the Emperor. They say the emperor is the emperor of all kings. They say that, right? But the emperor is a Taurus. Thank God the emperor is not a, a um, warm's sign. The emperor is a person, like they say, um, whatever you can feel, because it's, it's, it's um, pinnacles. The emperor is a person that works hard, that likes nice things, right? It's not like an air sign. Air signs work with their minds. Do you understand? They don't like to work hard. The emperor works kind of person that may own their own company, a leader, a boss, Somebody that very flashy, right? Work hard. They all about money, 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 right? They that's all they do. Money, money is everything to them, right? Um, they like to be flashy. They like to show people a good time. It's like I can live in this house and I can have nice furniture and I can dress nice and I can smell good. Um, but a ladies' man, someone that loves attention, someone that thrives to have fun, someone that likes to be the life of the party, okay? The emperor is a person that, yeah, will give you, but honey, you're going to pay for everything they give you, right? They might, you, they, they quick to, um, you know, uh, wine and dine you, but Lord knows what you pay for that wine and dine. Because you don't get shit for free. You're going to pay for it. You may think it, but you're not. All right, so just just so you know, because sometimes people talk about, oh, the emperor is is, is, is a boss. Um, honey, the G-O-D, the G-O-D is the boss. That's my emperor. It is not this emperor. All right, I don't, I like, I don't need no one to want to fancy and pansy me. 
All right, and then later on, throw it in my face or act like they giving me the world and they ain't giving me shit. All right, um, because they feel like and they're good for telling you. It's like somebody give you and they're going to tell you. Or they're going to, later on, it, it, these people, you may, people may think of these people like everything. But believe me, if you fucking with one, you're going to know. You know, you're going to know that this person gets around and got a lot going on. You popping up with the emperor now. Now, the seven of cups, the emperor. Do you get the seven of cups, right? Wishful thinking, endless possibility, all right, fantasizing. You got a book here, you got an open book, you got the number seven, okay, it's saying that, you know, you're looking at, you got choices, all them choices ain't good choices, maybe you got an emperor here, but you also got a lot of choices, okay. Um. Sometimes this can be a reality check of a person. Okay. Um, this can be a person that, um, a person that avoids issues. All right. Somebody that don't want to talk about something. Someone that, you know, is getting this reality check. Someone that probably had a lot of options, all right? This emperor got you thinking. Maybe you was one of their options, all right? Taurus, Pisces, you showing up with this, with this seven of cups, emotions, right? Somebody, maybe you feel like, this person has a lot of options and you're one of them, right? Maybe you feel like this person um, has a lot going on. Um, maybe they try up to avoid things that you want to talk about. You know, like somebody you talk to about something and then they make you feel like you're lying, like you don't know what you're talking about because they try to avoid the truth. They don't want to talk about what you know. They want to talk about where they at at that point. Right? But it shows that this emperor is here. And they want to bring you something here. Because it sits in the past. They want to come with a gift or something. But, um, you know, uh, but it's this person being honest because it says the seven of cups. So this person, a wishful thinking, endless possibility, fantasizing. And that's what they can have you thinking. But then at the same time, a lack of, um, maybe you have too many options, okay? Avoiding issues, right? Reality check. Maybe now you coming into all of that because, damn, is this person, he sound good, he look good, he, he is nice, but damn, now he's, now I'm starting to see the real him, or you know the real him. You know that he has all this, you it's like this person can do things to you and <clears throat> can take trips at you or do things for you that you like. But then turn around and do things to you that you don't even know what the fuck is up because it don't make any sense. And they don't they avoid the conversation. Alright? Or better yet, I'm not gonna tell you something, but if you get around, you'll see it is different. But I never told you about it. So if you find out something, well, I never told you. Why you didn't tell me? I didn't have to. You know? It's like this person can be Rico Suave. Right? This person knows how to get to you. But leaves you always second guessing yourself. Now, where did that car flew to? That car. Oh. Blind car, maybe. Okay. So now, the King of Cups. You got the emperor, you got the king of cup, right? Um, so maybe you're coming into your masculine. You're very compassionate. This person also can be, maybe this is somebody coming to you, but you coming into this masculine part. Like, I'm not playing, but Pisces, 
the king of cups can be a piece of fucking work. All right. The king of cups, when they get, they can be very flirtatious, can have a lot of women. All right. Catch an attitude. Right. Um, very given. Um, very over, overly emotion. Um, can be depressed. Um, unbalanced. But they're very compassionate. All right. So, I don't know. It shows like a doctor here. Like somebody that wants to heal you. Someone that nurtures you. But this is after someone having a lot of choices. This emperor is very confusing you. All right. You know, might have you all fucked up because you, you, they, they, they show giving. I, and I, I always feel like when people get into this type of thing, it's because once you get into feeling like somebody, like you are a choice or you are an option to somebody, that is the worst feeling in the world. I tried to explain this to someone yesterday at a reading. Now, the best way to say something to a person that is over something is like when you break up with your kid's father for good or, or somebody that you broke up with or some like you have no dealings with, right? None at all, no feelings for nothing, right? That moment when you break up and everybody in the world knows this moment. When you are over a person and there's nothing they can do or say to bring you back. That is a breakup, right? Because you're tired of going through it. But what happens is if you don't take care of whatever it is that you went through, you will repeat it again. Correct? But in, in this life, in this life, right now at 59. Whatever it is, whatever it is about me, it ain't no coming back. It ain't no trying to get back or you do this for me and I need you and I need to have you here. Or you this type of person with this job or you got this career and you got a title, but I'm, I'm an option to you, right? I'm a choice. It ain't none of that in my life. Right, so when I do these readings and I look at this, I, I think to myself, how much more can you go through? How much more can you give? Even if it's in the 3D. Now, you know what that is, a 3D. Even if you ain't with a person. Even if that person holds you hostage. Right? Because they have your soul. Because you can't move from it. And so there is the 13th, so there is a major transformation here, right? But people come and they go, and this is what they do to you. They come and go because they feel like, I can do that to you. I can do anything I want to you. Yes, I can. I can do anything I want to you. And that's how they feel. Why? Because they've probably done this one too many times. Right? And got away with it. I mean, I, I deal with people all the time. And when I talk to grown people in their 60s. And they still tell me about this childish shit that they're going through. They want me to understand the bullshit. And I can't understand it. And they think I'm... Go see a shrink. That you're going to pay to see. Because... It's like they want to hear what they want to hear. But they are in denial. It's like somebody's in denial, but I'm not going to see them, but they got so much. It's like, even if this person's fucking their wives or whoever they with or doing whatever they want to do to you, you still wait on for that um, comeback or let's talk or let, I don't give a damn. And, and let me tell you something, nine out of 10 Pisces, they do it to you. You don't, nine out of 10, and I mean 10, 
They doing it to you. You don't do it to them. And then you wait. So when is the next phone call? When is the text? You know, you get a thrill out of somebody texting you or calling you because you feel like, oh, they reaching back out after they just did some fucked up shit to you. All right. So it's like you are a choice to a person. And this person, whoever this person is, they may have a lot of things going on. Right? But they come off emotional or I can do this and I can do that, but a, a piece of work. A piece of work and got you all fucked up. Waiting to what? Waiting for what? Waiting for what? Waiting for what? For the bullshit. And then you sit there and you, and you back and forth, back and forth. What the fuck? Was they going back and forth, back and forth when they left? Was they going back and forth when they um, didn't want to have shit to do with you? Was they going back and forth when you had to be second to whoever? A lot of y'all are second to somebody. All right? Yes, you are, honey. Y'all like being that second motherfucker, that third party and shit. And fucking seeing somebody, baby mama drama and all that shit. I ain't got no problem with I left baby mama drama as soon as that happened. You know what God did? Locked his ass up and gave him 13 years. Because God knows I, I'm not the one for that. Okay? It happened all suddenly just like that. My mother passed away. My father passed away. And then the man got locked up for 13 years. It happened just like that. Just like that. After being with him for 28 years. And when I tell you it happened just like that, it wasn't years of nothing. It was like he had two kids at the same time with two different women. My mother was uh, uh, diagnosed with cancer, gave us six months to live. My father died before my mother, 42 days apart. Then my mother died. Then this man gets sentenced. What the hell? Just like that. I mean, God just said boom, boom, boom. Right? I guess God said, this woman here is definitely not the one. And let me tell you something. This woman here, um, uh, God said, if, if, if you don't, honey, how they say it, how, somebody better take care of it. Somebody need to take care of it. You know, I pray to God all the time. How, never would have made it without you. What's my favorite song? You know, that, that was the song back then. And I laid, because I didn't sleep in obey of the man. Matter of fact, I laid on the floor next to his two little kids. And that room was like a, a jail cell. And the room that he had for his kids, because the house wasn't that big. So the room that he had for the kids, for them two little kids, was like a jail, a, a jail cell room. It was small. And I slept on the floor. With, and his kids had these little beds. Right? I slept on the floor. And um, Never Would Have Made It was the song that I always heard. Never Would Have Made It. If it wasn't for that song, I don't know what I would have been. And I literally read the Bible from back to front. And, and I learned that even when I was locked up. All right? To read the Bible from front to back. I couldn't deal with the Bible with mother the father and a, and a woman and, and having kids generations after generation with the family. It, I couldn't get with that part, okay? So I had to go jump from that to where we at. Because baby, 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 that all that. The Bible, if anybody read the Bible, the Bible will tell you about a whore. or tell you about stealing, robbing. Tell you every damn thing. Everything that's going on right now, it says it in the Bible. All right, and I'm going to tell y'all, I don't go to church. I don't do no Bible because I'm a Buddha. But I'm telling you everything word for word, honey, shit. Like, I come from a family, very religious. My mother, like she said, my mother uh, was into spirituality deep and, and went to church. One thing I learned, my mother always taught us, religion is a religion. What you believe is what you believe, and what you get out of religion is what you get. It is not supposed to have you doing this and that because it's a religion. You're not a cult. You want to study what it is God's way. 
but everybody makes religion their own way and then they tell you this and that and then you follow everything a human being tells you to do. And I am a Buddha, so I don't I, I live a way. And a way is I know what's right and wrong. All right? A, a child, if you hit a child, they're going to know not to do it again. And that is a way of living. A way of living is what it is. All right? Um, but what I'm trying to tell you is you get caught up in loving someone and believing in them, and they use you as a revolving door because you get used to that dick and whatever they're going to give you, whatever you want from them, and, and all of this stupid shit. And half of y'all don't get shit from them. And, and you still, and they still robbing your ass. All right? Some of y'all don't get a damn dime, nothing from them, but spreading your legs wide open and giving it to them. Okay? But you got somebody here that, an emperor, a smooth talker that can have shit, but got you as an option. You are an option to somebody. You know what that means? An option. You are one of all these cups that they can pick from. They can have any cup. Or you could be the one that got this emperor that, that do the right thing for you. And you sitting there because you got a lot of choices to make. And, you know, you also got somebody to care about you. Maybe you got two people to care about you. Right? And you're in the middle that you don't know what to do. Ain't that something? Now, you may have one that does for you and the other one don't. Maybe you have one that does for you and, and does for you and you live right and then you got one just for the sex. I don't know what you're doing. But somebody ain't doing shit. Or maybe you got two men that ain't doing shit for you, but you just like the sex with them. A bunch of bullshit. You know, go get a cleansing and cleanse your whole your whole body in the inside. All right, go, go cleanse your wound, all right, from all the people that they done went with and got you and spreading it all inside of you, all right? But you got somebody here that has, either they got you as a choice or you got two different people and very confused, right, about this. And, and it's somebody that really cares because this King of Cup really, really cares, all right? But can be a piece of work, can be very clingy, very needy, all right? Lay back, okay? Um, it also can say that you're coming into this masculine, but you have somebody here that's a giver, that works, that can give you. And then you got somebody here that wants to care. So you might have an emperor, but you got a lot of choices, right, to make. But these choices, in the meanwhile, in between, while well, you might have an older man and a younger man in your life. I don't know. But it's somebody here that gives you, and then it's, it's, it's you in the middle of these choices, and it's, it's overwhelming, right? And then you got somebody that cares about you. I don't know where you stand. I'm telling you where you fit in every situation. Tell me more about this emperor. The world, mm, 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 mm. completion, wholesome, the end of a cycle, all right? Or it can be um, that you you may have an emperor, a person, that, that, an older person or somebody that takes care of you and give you what you want. But it's saying that you get it all, but somehow, some way, it's something here that needs to be done. Be either you're gonna move with it, or it's telling you, because it's like you don't know. Like you're looking at a person that gives you it all, but do are you in love with this person? Do you care, or do you care how what they do for you? Do you care what how you are living? Do you care? The, the things that they do for you that you that you feel like that I made here, but it's it's something here that, that it's a cycle that needs to be done with. You got an emperor in the world. That's pretty huge. Okay, maybe you feel completed with this emperor. Maybe you feel like you are um everything with this emperor. This emperor makes you feel good, right? Maybe this um, emperor um, is the one there, no matter what. But there's a cycle here 
that before the world, and you know the world is a completion, right? The world saying is a Leo, it's the strength, right? It's, it, it's just not one thing, it's many things, okay? Many things, all right? Um, it's a lot here to say, um, maybe you feel like, you know, this emperor's making things delay. Maybe you can, you have the world with someone, but it's delaying everything else because you have to make choices here. There's, there's seven, but you got the emperor in the world. Wishful thinking, okay, endless possibility, fantasizing. It's like you got somebody that can give you stuff, but then you fantasize about someone else, or you living with somebody that you have everything, or you can have everything, but you fantasize about somebody else, or somebody's offering you everything, but you fantasizing about somebody else. Tell me more about this seven of cups. Tell me more about this seven of cups. Tell me more about this seven of cups. It's like you sit there, you doing a lot of thinking. Tell me more about this seven of cups. Tell me, oh, this person might have, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but. The five of cups. Um, focus on. On a loss, okay. Um, some type of change, trauma. All right. Uh, you can a lot. You got a box full of everything. Reading a list. Seven of cup means I got everything I want, right? Oh, I can choose from everything. There's many things to choose from. But you feel like if you walk away from this emperor, the world, you got to tie loose in. Something here has got to be done. Or something, you got to tie something or complete something. And whether it's with the new, with the old, for the new, I don't know. But it's like you're, you're good in one place, but you're not happy there. In other words, I'm good here, but I'm not, I don't want to be here. I want to be there. Right? But you got a lot to choose from. And it says the five of cups. The five of cups is when you feel like you missing out on something. Right? You missed an opportunity or you're going to miss an opportunity. Right? You got a lot to think about. Focusing on the loss. What will happen if I move on? I'm going to lose out on a lot. Right? Um... It's something that is, is coming to a change with this trauma. It's almost like this reminds me of the tower. All right? But somebody here knows they're going to have to move forward. Um, uh, something let go of grief to heal. It's something here that I don't know. It's going. It's going to make you're going to have to be strong to deal with this shit because it's something here that needs to be dealt with. But I just feel like somebody's clinging on to it for whatever reason it is. I don't know. Making choice between two somebody care, an older and a younger. What's old? What's in the past? And what's in the future? All right. With the King of Cups, the Ten. Of pentacles, all right. Whoever this person is, this younger, this I don't know, look like a doctor, somebody that's in a medical field. He look like he could be working in a medical field, something here, because he got a doctor's care thing on, or I don't know what he works on, but this person, I don't know, right? Um, inheritance, finance, security, family. All right. Um, it may be feeling like 
you want all of this with somebody. You, it's like you thinking, if I leave this person that I have everything with, I want this person to have what this person has. Right? You may be, like I say, you may be dealing with somebody younger. Younger. Right? And you may be happy to make a choice. But it's like I'm comfortable where I'm at. I keep saying it. It's somebody that may be comfortable where they at, but maybe seeing someone else or broke up with somebody and have it's something here that you know how you always have that main thing but everybody else is everybody but when i'm not with my main thing and shit goes wrong i go to everybody but it's still not the same as my main thing but my main thing don't ever want to act right so it's like you 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 need to finish something, or maybe you bored with where you at, maybe it ain't no more love there, but as far as, um, feeling like I can have it all, yeah, or maybe you know that you had an emperor once upon a time that gave you the world, and now you feel like all these choices, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm really missing out on what I had, maybe somebody... Um, left you for someone else, or leaving you, or a, a, a situation where I'm, I'm missing out on something, what I had, or what I'm leaving, or whatever, to get into something new, and not even knowing how it will work, and look at this card just popped up, so with the world, it's a lot of pain that took place with this emperor, and this um, world, and this three, and it shows very darkness, all right? It's a dark time in your life that already passed, but I might have had it all. This person might have gave me everything I wanted, but as far as happiness, I never had it. I had to complete a cycle. I had to let go of this, even if I didn't want to. It must have been the hardest thing for you to do, right? Because it shows that this person left. It was no growth there. And it showed a lot of scars. Right? A lot of scars. So, yeah, this person might have been an emperor player. Or a person that shows themselves on what they got. Like, always talk about themselves and stuff like that. But you, it's like you look at, you looking at that person like I might have had all. Or I felt like I was going to have it all. Maybe you did. But this person left you with a lot of pain. And it's a lot of pain here. It shows your heart scarred. And I don't know how long your heart will be scarred, but it's been scarred. All right? You're very protected. You're not opening very easy. It's like you know a lot. You keep a lot in your in, in here, in your heart. You don't talk about it, but you protect yourself from whoever this person was because it seems like they they want to know. They want to know what, what you're doing. You're being very secretive. You're not, you, it's like, like you're protecting everything about you, right? You're not, I don't know if this person you live with, you was living with, but very quiet. You're not saying nothing. You, you're keeping things to yourself. You're the highest priest. You know, um, you're nurturing all, but you're very quiet. You're not letting nobody know your moves or what you're doing, right? You're not letting no one come into your head. It's like you're protecting everything about you. Why? Wow. And the seven of wands, I call the haters. When... People are trying to get into your world. People are trying to find out what you're doing. Right? But you like very quiet. All right? You're showing a big in this reading. But it's a lot of pain here. Five of Cups. Uh, and I said a tower moment. There it shows. So, it's the number 13. Today. So, this choice. This feeling lost, feeling like I'm missing out on something, missing out on a situation here, on missing out on what was mine, missing out on an opportunity, um, feeling vulnerable, 
right? There's a tower. This tower been showing up a lot, especially yesterday. Um, it's a tower here. It's something that came down, right? But towers are good because towers, people look at a tower as, oh, my God. But a tower is showing, like, something here has to be done with. It, this this. Missing on the opportunity, you need to know what what do you, what, what are you still standing there for? Either you're gonna do something or you're not. Okay. The nine of swords with this tower, it's like you can't you just it's gonna eat you up. Like you can't stop thinking about it. Like it's consuming too much of your time. Right? Like, you know that this, somebody here got a lot of choices. Somebody feel like they missing out on something. Have, I'm going to say something to you. I talk to people that feels like they are, I don't know, like they they feel obligated for, for someone to do it. I don't know. It's like, it's like they are a possession to you. You know what I mean? That's like. That's like a man that's a pimp. And then he got all these women, but you the main woman. It's like you the wife. And then they got all these different women they mess with. All these different women. Right? But you the one that's on top. Right? But you always think about, okay, he went to bed with this one. Because you know he is. You know he is. Right? And you always got to wonder, right? It's like you, you don't get no sleep because it's always some shit. Like, it's somebody here that keeps you thinking. But you're being very secretive because I just feel like it's the end of a cycle. And this person might have done everything for you. It feels like somebody does for me. Somebody take care for me. Somebody's been there for me. All right? Or maybe you with somebody for reasons. Maybe you got married to somebody to get over here. Or maybe um, to get your paperwork done. All right. But whatever it is, it's like I'm married to this. I have this. It's almost like a tie that you have with someone. But that tie that you have with someone has to end because it's been nothing but pain. Like two scars. But you're protecting everything about you. You're not letting nobody know nothing. And you, you know what you know. It's like, I'm not saying that. I'm just here and watch people do moves and how they move it. But right now where you are, it's like you got the seven of cups. You can pick anything you want. But it's like wishful thinking. Endless possibility. Fantasizing. That's what you're doing. And then um, focusing on the laws. All right? Unwelcome changes, trauma, and then you get the unwelcome change is the tower. When things shake up, when things happen that you don't want, they leave you thinking up at night, can't sleep because something is about to change, and I don't know what it is, but you're protecting everything, very protected. Tell me more about this nine of swords. The ten, of, the ten of swords came right after the nine of swords. Happened to walk away from this. Something you 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 know you're going to have to walk away. But you feel as you're walking away, I might be missing out on everything I had on this opportunity. Because you don't know what the new is going to bring you. You have no clue. Right? But you know what you had. Right? Tell me more. With this Ten of Pentacles, it's like I feel like you're walking away from something that was, that was, that completed you. It's almost like if you got somebody that does for you, or they can give you the littlest thing. They don't even have to give you a lot. But this is how you, you're, you, you're open to that. Rather than to have somebody that you don't know how they're going to treat you, but that's where you want to be. So it's like, I like this, but I'm in love with this. Or I like this, or, or I'm, I'm safe here, right? I'm secure here, 
But here is where I like my playground. So, all right. So you get someone cares to ten of, of pentacles because that's what you want, right? But you sit and you say the three of ones is like is is arriving, but I'm waiting for it to come. Or oh, I gotta get on here, or I gotta swim, or you know, I'm looking at that ocean. Right? Because I know it's right there. Or somebody's going to have to travel somewhere to there, to this place. All right? Somebody's got to leave something behind and get to where they're going. It might be a, the change, maybe, that you got to move forward. But the Five of Pentacles means that you feel like with all of this and this Three of Wands, it could be like as many possibilities because the door is there. The key is there, but it's like, you feel like you're the one that's going to be missing out on something. It's like, you feel like, I'm sitting there feeling sorry for myself, but I can have all of this what I want. I can have everything I want, but I'm too emotionally stressed out that I don't want to put the key to the door, open up the door and see everything that I have that, that is there for me. You still feeling sorry for yourself because the choice you got to make is hard because you know what you what I have. I know I can have this, but I can have the same thing and something new, but I'm afraid to open that door. So I just sit there and feel sorry for myself. And while I'm feeling sorry for myself, the key is there saying, if you open up the door, you have everything you want, but it's like you're afraid. It's like a guilt trip that you have with yourself because you have somebody that cares and wants to give you the world and you're going to have to make moves. You're going to have to travel. You're going to have to move somewhere, whatever it is. But you're not open to this because you just sit there saying, I'm afraid. It's like you feel like, you feel like you're going to miss out on something, like you're not going to be a part of this or this right here is not going to happen for you. But if you get up and stop feeling sorry for yourself and get it, get that key and open up that door, it will show you that you will have endless possibility with something new. But it's like you compare the old with the new, and you can't compare the old with the new because the old is what you already have, what you know. But the new is coming like you don't know, right? So that's what you're afraid of. And, and look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. And you got that twice. So if you just open up and stop feeling like you're going to miss out on something, and you open up that door, you will have everything you want with the new. With the new. Or, or this person that you've been having around, whatever. But it is the new. Instead of sitting there telling yourself that, you have something that you're comfortable with, with you secure with, and you just don't know how to get past of uh, letting go. Because you got to travel here. The world is traveling. It's like you you got to let go of something. But it's like you're afraid because I may miss out on what this is because I don't know what this is. But the only person you're confusing is yourself. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't care what the old is. I want to know what new is coming. I want to open up a new door of possibilities. In this possibility, I was also telling somebody that that guy that is an Aquarius that's been in my life for years and years and years, you know, he's a very down-to-earth person, and he always told me exactly where I stood. He never lied because he didn't. He just felt like I was too much for him, and I did things that he didn't like, and I always did, all right? Um, in long term relationship on him, you know. So when I was telling the Pisces that she's trying to confuse me with, with her situation, and there is no com, there is no you putting your craziness with this craziness, all right? Because you in your sixties and still playing with somebody like they ten years old, and back and forth like two little kids, and ain't nobody got time for that. And, and then this person is doing too much because they want to keep you confused because they're confused because they know they ain't wrong because they know they can't do shit for you. All right? Like, some sometimes people 
make you want to stay. And, and, and it's because if you want them Pisces that ain't got shit going on, nothing but sitting in the house waiting on everybody or waiting on this check or waiting on you really ain't got shit going on. Nothing going on. You know, and, and nothing going on. And I mean that shit. Just sit there and wait and wait. And, and some people are fortunate. And I mean fortunate. Did you hear what I said? Fortunate. Fortune. I'm going to say it again. I don't know too many Pisces that are like this, but I know some. That are fortunate to come into an inheritance and it's major. And some Pisces know what to do with the inheritance. And some Pisces are just stupid. And it's a damn shame that I got to use the word stupid. They, they are just sitting there dumbfounded. See, some Pisces done fuck shit up so bad that they done fucked it up. And they come into all of this and they don't even feel it. You know why they don't feel it? Because you fucked up in the past. With your own roots, with your own family. And some Pisces are rooted where they get this inheritance that they inherit and they give to their family and they give to people and they give and give and give. And I know, honey, I know, I, I, I don't know a lot of Pisces, but I know um, some Pisces that are so, so giving and, and, and very blessed and, and came into good things in their life. And they and, and you know why they, they, they have this heart of gold and they always... Always have it, non-stop having because they're the kind of person that I inherit and I give. It's like they got this washing machine that I get and I give. I get and I give and they're going to be always fulfilled. And then you got some Pisces that inherit things that they need to fucking find their damn self because they lost. And they sit there, they have nothing going on in their life. They consume shit with someone else. With what someone else got going on with how someone else is living. How they not doing. How I don't want nobody else to have what I have. What the fuck? Get a grip of yourself. Some Pisces don't want to hear the truth. And then you got Pisces that, hey, it is what it is. Now, I know when I fucked up, I fucked up. You know what I mean? Shit. Can't nobody be a rubble like me. I'm a fucking rubble. All right? I'm a fucking rubble. And they said... My son is a Scorpio. The apple don't fall far from the tree. You know what? That's what they say. But what's saying that I know my heart had, I know I have a big heart and I give. That's one of my biggest problems. That I want to fix the world and I want to give. And my son is the same way. But we both are the ones that don't fuck with each other. We not the one to fuck with each other. We not the one. We set boundaries, we do it. He's not disrespectful. You understand? He listens and tells me, Mom, please, I cannot listen to this. I'm the one that's on 10. But if I was in his mother, he probably wouldn't even deal with my fucking head. Ever. But because I am his mother, I'm there. I'm there. And he deals with me. To the day I die. The things that I say to him. Probably hurts him to his core. And I know it does. I know it does. But me as a Pisces. Right? My wish has to be granted. And it may not be the way he wants it to be. Because he has people that love him. And they will always be there for him. And want to be there to give him a hug. And want to be there to support him. But in my world, they cannot be. Do you understand? In my world, it don't matter 
if you wanted me to support him in my world. You can't. And I know it hurts him. But in my world, they are my wish granted. And my will that I have none of these people around me. Ever. And it's in my will. And I know that that to him is hurtful because he loves these people. And he would do anything for them. But in my world, they don't exist. And that is my world. And I'm telling you, Pisces. I'm very unique. I'm very rare. I do not play games. I'm born with a sword and I will cut you just as quick as you Honey, I will demolish your ass. And I stick to what I say. That's the difference. I can't knock on somebody's door that is mean and nasty to me. You got one time to act crazy with me and it's your last time. I can't go back. The one thing a Pisces will do is, is that, is that person that does you harm. And it's that person that we seem to always have around. But it's harm. It brings you nothing but harmless. Right? It is a treasure to your soul. Right? It's a tre It's like Pandora. Don't open up that Pandora box, but you keep opening it. Right? Don't open it up, but you keep opening it. <laughs> but like I said, some of us are born into treasury. And the thing is, some of us are born into it. It's leaving in documents, in wills. Right? It's leaved in wills. You don't have to work for the rest of your life. And some of us are born into that. Some of us, some of us had this from the time we was born, but we done fucked it up. So now... In the inheritance, it got a whole bunch of things that you may have it, but you can't feel it, right? It's like they gave me all this, but it's ran by someone else. My whole life is ran by someone else because I can't never feel the abundance that I have. But it's still showing because everything else is getting paid, but I don't feel it. And then you got some Pisces that... Did not get the inheritance, but, but have it because they fought for it. And you deserve it. You deserve it. It's like if my mom passed away and she didn't leave shit for nobody, but she got all this shit. I'm going to fight for it. And it's seven of us. Right? And I'm going to fight until I get it. All right? People, some people don't leave wills. But what I'm saying, Pisces, is in this reading, it feels like you got two different things going in your life. You may have someone that you are in safe with or you comfortable with. And, and this is where you feel home. And then you got a new, which is a young thing, right? You got somebody older, somebody newer, right? But with this new thing, it's like so many possibilities are there for you. But you're afraid to open up the door because you're afraid of not having what you had. When I'm going to say something to you. After me and the cancer departed, the one for 20, that's the one I lived with the longest in my life. I thought my world would never be the same. I thought I would never have everything I had. But let me tell you the one thing I did get was a peace of mind. And money can't buy that. I got that. But everybody I met after him can't even compare to him. And that's my past. All right? That's the one I did time. That's the one I, I ran with drugs. That's the one that that's the one that I met right after my son's father. Okay? Open up that world to a Pandora box that I wish I never did open. And after that, I never seen it again like it. Ever in my life. I never met no one like it. No one can come close to that. Because it was a lifestyle I was living. 
And that's what I was in love with. I wasn't in love with the person. I was in love with the lifestyle. All right? But then I had someone that loved me for real. For real, for real. Loved me. For real, for real. I mean, loved me. And can you believe it? All the years later, did I went through all of this with this guy for 28 years. And I'm not, I'm talking about, it stopped at 28 because it's been years after. That person that was there be, before I met the one for 28, it came back around. The person that I thought wasn't worth, worthy of having me because he wasn't living a fast life. Because he went to college. Because he made something out of his life. Because he's very smart. Right? Yes. I didn't want that. I wanted what brought me craziness. And so that's where you're at. You got to think about opening a new door. There is many possibilities. But you're afraid because of what you can miss out on. And sometimes... We just stay stuck in a place because that's what we want. We can't help ourselves. That's just who we are. But you got to make up your mind, Pisces. You're going to have to decide and hopefully you won't be in a grave and be a lot of these Pisces in a grave that never knew what they wanted and always was um, followers, not leaders. All right? You, you got to make up your mind what, what you want in your life, which way you going. What is the best thing for you? You cannot be comfortable somewhere where you're not really comfortable. But it's where your heart be. And that's not good. Because if it's where your heart be, somebody's just going to come like a revolving door in and out, in and out. Or you may be the one that's playing these games. And at the end, you wind up with nothing. You need to find out what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And today, you will go through a transformation. You will go through this tower moment. But it is going to shake it because it needs to be shook. And it's going to shake it because today is the day where maybe you find out something you don't want. Maybe somebody find out something about you that you didn't want them to know. But whatever it is, it's shaking it. Okay? So Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I don't hate on nobody. God always has me. Always. Thank you for all those who support me, who love me. All right. Um, namaste and go at peace. Till tomorrow, Pisces. It's God willing. Bye-bye.